So yo, what's up guys? In today's video, we have a mystery booster pack from the YouTuber Unlisted Leaf. So this is his second version of these. He has dropped one in the uh, before, which we've done a video. Check it out on the channel. We do a lot of YouTuber mystery packs because they seem to do good on the on the channel. Uh, so yeah, make sure to stay tuned for more, guys. But here we go. This is the Unlisted Leaf one, and as you can see, so you got green Sword and Shield era minimum guarantee. So uh, that's the minimum, and then Sun and Moon red which is one in five chance so one in five chance of that black and white and xy error one in ten chance so that is what we i'm not going to spoil it but we might have got something from there last time around which was pretty decent and then we got gold which i've still not got with any youtubers like the highest tier uh we've not got a gold one yet but we've got what's he hot gold soul silver and we've got one in 25 chance of that so uh yeah hopefully we can pull a gold for once Silver wouldn't be too bad, but to the base content, you've got five Scarlet and Violets, Sword and Shield era packs, one mystery booster, an exclusive unless to leave video. And then booster uh mystery boosters are always randomly picked. So yeah, so we don't know what boosters we got here exactly. So that's why we're gonna open up two today because that's what the uh the channel budget can afford, two packs only. So make sure to like and subscribe for more. I do always do these YouTuber mystery packs because they do alright because you search these YouTubers up and hopefully you can find my video as well. But big shout out to Unlisted Leaf, uh good friend of mine. And you might have seen him in my Yokohama video when he was in Japan. And yeah, I knew him for quite a while now, so I always go out and support his mystery packs. Uh but yeah, we have done Koki Chloe Pucky Dean ones and the um pokey rev ones in the past and also unlisted leaf older ones as well so if you want to stay tuned for more mystery pack openings make sure to like and subscribe and yeah let's get into opening these up boom we're in the opening station now and yeah let's get into ripping these open see if we can hit that silver gold red would be nice it depends what sun and moon packs there are going to be some sun and moon packs worth more than xy era packs so depends what sets are in there so let's see what we've got guys so boom got a little tear tab oh no right off the bat we can see straight away what the color is so okay we're gonna open these up and then we'll move on to the next pack in a bit but okay we've got the mystery booster pack i believe let me check so yeah there is a qr for an exclusive unlisted leaf video i don't want to spoil this because don't want to give it out there so if you do want to get this video uh make sure to buy a pack guys these are still available on Unlisted leaf's website but mystery booster pack there and then boom we do have Astro Crown. Crown's not a bad one. Obviously, got some new ones of City and Flame. So, these were made in the like last month or so. And the Scarlet Violet Pally Evolved is uh, Pally Evolved, yeah. So, yeah, okay, what order are we gonna do this? I'd say in that order. What do you reckon? I kind of like Astro Radiance, you know? And I'll, I'll pop the green one open in a bit. So, the green one, again, minimum guarantee. So, it's just gonna give us a Sword and Shield pack, which isn't too bad, at least not uh, a Scarlet and Violet era pack because we've got a ton of those already. Uh, but, yeah. Hopefully you can hit one of these other ones. So we hit vintage in his last mystery pack. I think I've hit vintage or older set in like every mystery pack opening, apart from my first Poke Rev one, uh, which uh, was a bit smelly. But apart from that, we did hit an older pack every single time. So hopefully you can do it again. But let's start off with the Scarlet and Violet base set, guys. Oh, Paul Mott and a Klefki Hollow. So boom, let's go, let's go. All right, we've got the Paul Mott. Nice, we'll take that, AR. Or illustration rare. All right, what's this one? Paldia Evolved. So come on, guys. I have done a Scarlet and Violet and Paldia Evolved Ace Grading return recently. So if you want to check that out, check it out on the channel, guys. I sent all my favorite cards from both these sets to Ace to get graded. Okay, Lock Kicks Hollow. So yeah, the Hollow Rares from the uh, Scarlet and Violet put there. Because obviously, you've got guaranteed one. We're hunting for them. Special illustrations. Even the illustration rares are pretty nice. And to pull the poor mods, pretty good, to be fair, because it's not easy to pull this ARs like two three four per box maybe but common obsidian flames a brand new set are we gonna get a zot i've never seen this little chunk art you know that's actually pretty cool those sar zod and a clay dot hollow so that is the scarlet violet sets we get into the one of the only sword and shield main sets here the astral radiance so in here you got some cool sets and cards like obviously you got the the Algapalkia O art you got the machamp O art which in english i do not have still after all this time i still not got it not pulled it i finally pulled the palkia maybe i bought dialga uh so yeah Mon the machamp is like 100 pounds so i haven't bought that yet but let's see obviously got training gallery in this set as well with the star meat worth quite a bit now but i think we've got something cleaver v so we've got the cleaver v there at least the hit will take that let's go let's go and then boom crown z an awesome sub so i think a sleeper right now but will be a future classic for sure uh but boom there we go code card there uh and then boom four from the back let's see if you can get anything here guys 
And yeah, obviously you got the Mewtwo, you got the Golds, you got uh, Pikachus and stuff like that here. Just so many cards, it's so hard to list. Obviously Japanese version of Beastar Universe, but let's see if we can get a reverse lot. Oh, just a regular reverse and a Helio list. So we only got two hits there, unfortunately, but okay, green pack it gives us a Sword and Shield set. If we get like Evolving Skies, this could be good. Uh, Brilliant Stars wouldn't be bad. Let's see what it's gonna be. Okay, another Crown Zenith, so not a cheap set. Because uh, obviously a holiday set costs a little bit more in products, etc. So ain't too bad to get another one of these. We'll give it another go. Let's go. Shout out the green mystery booster. So boom. And then we got one more pack to open, which we're going to open shortly. Uh, but yo, come on. Hopefully you can get a flood SCR card in here. But yeah, Crown Zenith again, guys. Come on. Can we do anything? We got Seal, Cricketard, uh, Reverse, and... Ooh, Leafeon V-Star, we'll take that, we'll take that. So y'all, let's go, let's go, guys. Whew. Okay, so the first pack, six packs, three hits, 50% pull ratio, not too bad. But obviously with these mystery packs, oh, you, it can also matter what pulls you get because I've pulled like greens and other people's mystery packs before, but I pulled 100 pound chase cards in those regular packs. So it also matters pulls as well as what pack you get because you could pull a gold pack to be honest and get a stinky pull if you do open it, but all right but yeah we're gonna see what we can get here so these are pretty smaller i think compared to the other one because look if i open it it's gonna reveal the color straight away so let's see what we got guys oh we got something different we got something different all right hopefully i'm not spoiled it let me try and get these out so boom that gives you the video i'm gonna show the qr code again but we've got an astral crown okay so the same assortment of packs here so boom, we'll do it in that order. And then the mystery pack, we got a red. I'll take a red, guys. So red is gonna give us one sun and moon pack. And I like sun and moon more than most black and white and XY sets. Well, more than most XY sets for sure. Uh, so yeah, hopefully it's tag team error uh, and not, well, tag team, well, I would say burning shadows, but I'm over trying to pull that rainbow Charizard now. It's impossible, but yo, let's go, let's go. All right, we've got to see what's in that red one at the end of the video, guys, and we'll open it. I think a Sun and Moon I'll open. You know me, I keep a lot of the older stuff sealed. But Sun and Moon, I've opened so many. There's no point to keep sealed anymore. I'll open it for the vid. But yeah, let's go, let's go. Claw oh, <laughs> we got the Coridon EX. Yo, gold. Let's go. Hey, too bad, you know. I'll take that. I like Coridon, so gold Coridon, very nice. Yo, let's go. There's a code card there. I keep forgetting to give out the code cards for, um, what you call it, SV sets. Because you've got the energy that hides it. So, I'll try and remember, guys. But, I'll take that. I'll take that. Come on, let's see what you got here. Let's see. We've got Shroomis, Raichu, Gothitelli, Bax, Wingo, Pineco. And we've got the Tinkerton Hollow. So, okay, regular Hollow here and Paldia Evolved. Alright, into Obsidian Flames. Alright, Obsidian Flames, guys. Can we hit that Zard? We do get a gold, which is amazing. Okay, first reverse. Alright, Lechonk. Darkrai Hollow. Take that. But did I say Lechonk? My bad. Lavatar. Let's go. Yo, that is not bad. Another AR. Like, ARs are not easy to pull, so I'll take them. I'll take them. But yeah, I've done this for video purposes. So again, guys, if you do like this video, make sure to like and subscribe again. Uh, and like I said, we have done other YouTubers. When other YouTubers again do more mystery packs, we'll definitely buy them. But oh, Astral Radius didn't do card trick, but unfortunately, nothing there. Um, and yeah, maybe we might release our own ones. Obviously, I do have some of my own ones, which I'll talk about at the end of the video. Different uh, kind of mysteries I have offer. Uh, so check it out, guys. But let's go, let's go. And yeah, come on. But yeah, big shout out to Unlisted Leaf. The biggest, I think, PokeTuber in the world. Uh, followers wise as well. And obviously a good friend of mine. I've known him since I started uh, doing YouTube as well. So big shout out to him. Absolute legend here. Oh, God Pack Pika. Obviously not God Pack in English, but the same artwork as the God Pack in Japanese. The God Pack Pika. That pack in terms of pools were really nice. Gold AR and the Pikachu AR as well. Uh, but yeah, let's see. we got here, guys. This is red. This is going to give us one sun and moon pack if we get team up would be very expensive sun and moon set i feel like a lot of the sun and moon sets we see these days is cosmic because obviously it's the more accessible one and it's, it's a great set okay we got crimson invasion there so when did this one 2017 right 
yeah 2017 one of the first few sets so here it's not a bad set i think my chase was always the gary dose but when it comes to sun and moon i just love the tag team and I, I see a lot of tag teams so i was expecting tag team there but crimson invasion i'll take that i'll take that let's see what we can pull like i said sun and moon i'll probably open everything just because i've opened literally every sun and moon set so many times because it's the era that i got into it I swear, should I show, show, oh no i was gonna say do i show the code just because I know Sun and Moon says you can read Redeem or TCGO. Uh, so I don't want to spoil it. But there we go. We did spoil it. But we'll turn it out anyways, guys. And hopefully you enjoy the video, guys. But come on, let's see what we got here. And we'll recap the pools in a second. But y'all, let's go. We Oh, we got the Magikarp. So yeah, there is a Gyarados Rainbow, which I really love in this set. But Magikarp. I love the art on that as well. The mechanical one there. Probably from some Easter egg going on there. Let me know if you know why the Magikarp Metal is in some of the series. But... Captain non hollow there, but yo, not too bad. So, yo, hopefully, you like that. Not too bad on the pools, to be honest. Obviously, we didn't get any crazy vintage packs this time around. On the last three, we got three vintage or X and Y and older packs, which we've been pretty lucky with. Uh, but unfortunately, we didn't get one here. But big shout out to Honest Leaf. That's obviously the odds uh, here. I just see one in 25, one in 10, one in five, and minimum guarantee. So, at least we we're lucky to not get two greens, which we've got to be grateful for there. So, big shout out to Honest Leaf. If you want these, check it out on his website, uh, mrleaf.com. Uh, but if you do want mysteries from myself, I do mystery slabs, mystery boxes, uh, and mystery cards as well. So, mystery cards. So, I've got a mystery section on my website. If you want to support my mysteries, uh, we might do mystery packs in the future. I don't want to spoil my ideas for them. Uh, try and make it a little bit different, but in the future we'll definitely do it. Maybe next year, you can look out for a famous girl or Vivian uh, Vivian's collectibles one. Uh, but nonetheless, shout out to Leslie Leaf. Hopefully these go well. And yeah, if you do want to support my guy, go check his website out as well. Uh, and you can also check out mine. I'll put the links in the description, anyways. But yeah, guys, like, subscribe. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.